Hi everyone, Oma Giona here, and today I'm reading chapter 1073 of One Piece. Let's go. So this, the title is called Miss Buckingham. Stussy. Okay, just gonna shut up. It's it's crazy. My brain just goes like me. <laughs> I should just read first. Okay, cover page. German Double Six, Cold Blooded Voyage, Volume 29, awarded the Ibel Peace Prize for developing the GP Flower, a flower that blooms in gunpowder. So they they shoot cannons and then flowers come out. I mean, Judge's uh, design kind of looks good. The more I see it, the more I like it. So he won a prize for that. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty cool. It's just that... me. Okay. Notes from Oda. I went to see Ado-san's live with Nakata-san, Vondi, and Orisaka-san. Man, what an what incredible vocal range. It was amazing. Yeah, I just I just really cool. Okay. Luchi's reaction to betrayal. Hmm. Yo, Kaku's like down. How powerful is her bite? This is a bitter pill to swallow. <laughs> Have a taste of your own medicine, man. You did that to iceberg. Paper arts, heartbreak, after image. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Luchi went to attack her with um, Shigan, and then she just. Is, was it Kamie? And the paper art thing. So when you don't understand, your first instinct is to go for the kill. Isn't that what you guys do anyway? CP, the Cypher Falls, Paul. My, my. You're so wild. She's so... Oh my gosh! I was wondering why she would use like a secret weapon stuck in her lipstick or something. Well, it did say it was just a tap. So she just went like this to Luchi. And he felt it. Oh. She has fangs. Whoa, right on the neck, too. Hmm. I wonder if he did. Uh, she did that to Kaku as well before she bit him. Like, it would make more sense why Kaku, considering how strong he is now, he was down like that. Hmm. Seems like she has a longer tongue as well. Dang. I know how strong you boys are. Fighting you fair and square would have been stupid. Yeah. Forgive me. But is she on our side? Or is she working for, like, someone else? What? Just a moment. What is this? Why are the CP0 agents at each other's throats? Friendly far, huh? I don't think so. This is Stussy. I put them both to sleep. Oh, okay. Maybe when she bites them, it, it makes them sleepy. That's fantastic news. Stussy came through. Okay, so she is with us. Um, York put together. <laughs> She's sleeping. So she is the person who they were... Um, no. What's his name? Shaka. <laughs> Shaka was talking to you on the phone. How? Oh, what's going on? Rob Lucci was beaten. No doubt he was taken by surprise. Her loyalty to me was kept secret. Even after she spent 20 years as one of their agents. You had a mole in the intelligence branch. It wasn't our intention, but that's how it turned out. Because he made her. Mm, Robin. <laughs> Just looking at Robin's backside. Doctor, unfortunately, my authority level is the same as Luchi's. Mm. So I can't override his orders. 
Oh. And stop the seraphim. You've done plenty, Stasi. We're on our way. We need to stop those runts before they flatten the others. Right, and is it just me or do those kids look familiar? Yeah, that looks like Boa. <laughs> Kuma, I know. Especially that one. Mihawk? Did he see Mihawk or he, is he talking about uh, Jimbe? I would think Mihawk. Hooey. They won't stop blowing holes in the lab. Though I suppose we can use those extra exits to get out faster. And I'm out. It's Lilith. Hey, Seraphim, listen. Mihawk. Huh? Beep beep. Oh! <laughs> Is Zoro gonna fight the baby Mihawk? Oh my gosh. Can you imagine if he got defeated by the baby Mihawk? That's like... But he said he's never gonna get defeated, so... We'll see. Beep beep. I wonder if the Seraphims talk? Because here it just made a sound. It just went like beep beep. I wonder if they're capable of conversation. I mean, Stasi, she she has basically everything. She's a clone. They are kind of like clones. Hmm. I wonder if they have the capacity to like feel emotions and maybe not because um, judges children. And I still think it's closely related like all the experiments and stuff that the people from mads were doing they they come from the same like the lineage factor thing so i would assume these seraphims have no emotions just like sanji's brothers on closer inspection you're not the same you actually have a spark of humanity still hmm is he saying that Mihawk does not have a spark of humanity? Hmm. Interesting. Because, like, they clashed. And then... Like, the Mihawk one is sweating. And it has, like, this... This look. Like, how do I explain this? It's, like... Like, struggling... And Zoro says, on closer inspection, you're not the same. You actually have a spark of humanity. Still. What the hell are you? <laughs> that was a shock. Leave it to me. Seraphim, quit it. Stop fighting immediately. Edison? No, he can't be... You looking for this? That was close. Oh wait, what happened to Edison? Oh, okay. Edison was telling them to quit it, but he he got shot. Okay. But Sanji got him. <laughs> you looking for this? That was close. <laughs> Edison. Hmm. It's interesting how Lilith still has a lot of emotions to her, considering how she's the per like the evil personality, and I would think she's just evil, but <laughs> she's quite cute and nice too. The Seraphim finally listened. Can someone tell me what these things are? Shaka, I've bound Luchi and Kaku with sea stone. Much obliged, Stasi. We're le leaving the island. You should come with us. Mm. Understood. She's coming? Hey, you can't keep adding people. <laughs> so I guess we're taking all the Vega Punks and then we have Stussy. Bonnie might go with us. Hey, Bonnie, where'd you go? Old man punk, we can't leave without you. Chopper's floating. A truly unexpected development. Oh, my cat. Vanny! <laughs> A truly unexpected development. Dr. Vegapunk's main Stella. 
It has vanished. I'm assuming they went into the memory. Old man. <laughs> I was expecting like the flashback borders, you know, like the black ones. And then it just went like Sphinx, New World, Whitebeard's hometown. Marco. Marco's here. Somebody's calling Marco. It was so scary. Not for me. I wasn't I wasn't scared. There were Marines all over the place. I'm real sorry, kids, Yoi. I didn't mean to leave ya in such a bad spot. But they were not like attacked it seems it's not your fault marco those marine meanies were the worst they said they were here for white beard white beard's treasure they were just like pirates if you play nice you won't get hurt okay you don't look like marines i can't see clearly like the face of like this main marine He's wearing a suit, so I'm assuming he's a vice admiral or high. Well, no, he's not an admiral, so a vice admiral, I would say. Okay, there it is. Rem no, is this Nezumi? <laughs> like Nezumi from um, Nami's Ark. Kokoyashi, remember this place? Isn't government affiliated? You have no legal rights here. And you know, like he—he's the one who who went to Kokoyashi trying to steal. Well, he stole Nami's treasures. It seems like he's doing the same. Like he has like the the ears and the whiskers. This has to be Nezumi. <laughs> of all people who would come back, seriously, where's Gin? Yeah, Whitebeard must have kept all his treasure here. If you don't tell us, we'll consider it an act of defiance. I could shoot you all one by one. If you think that'll make you more talkative. Heck, that's a kid. What would he know? There's no treasure here. Stop pointing that gun at my little brother. You really won't treat us as fellow humans just because we can't pay the government, you monsters. Are you sure it's wise to act tough when Marco's not around? Well, somebody must have saved them. Who could it be? Other Whitebeard pirates? Because we don't know where they are after the war. Well, Izo died. Um, like Vista and Jozu and all the other crewmates. We don't know where they went. But like, who else would be able to like protect them? While Marco was away. Hold her still. Yeah, stop it. Please stop this. Granny. Steady. Please stop this. She's just an old lady. Granny. Or. What's. What's the name? The Revolutionary Army. Like, um. Betty. Or. Because that's what they do, right? Like, they they go to, like, different islands and save people who are being oppressed, either by pirates or by, like, marines. I think this is Nezumi, but it almost looks like a fishman, too. Nezumi did not have sharp teeth. But dude definitely looks like him. Okay, like, this guy... The Nezumi look-alike is um, aiming at them. The old lady to the old lady. It's Weevil! <laughs> no! What's <laughs> up? <gasps> oh my gosh, then we're going to see Miss Backen. Is she actually? Is she actually? Like Miss Buckingham, is she actually Stussy? Like where they cloned Stussy from? Oh my god! Cause like if it is her, like I might believe that she had a thing with Whitebeard. 
But I don't think Weevil is actually their son, if anything. He must be a clone just like Sussy. Maybe they gave they gave her Weevil in exchange for using her DNA. Okay, Benny, can you like Oh my goodness. Okay, hi hi. Hi hi. No, hi hi. Okay. Okay, fine. Cause you keep like like opening the door. I read one piece? No? Okay, you're mad. Okay. Okay, fine. Stay away from Poppy's home. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Stay away from Poppy's home. Oh no! Now like my thing's dying. So sorry, you guys, but I don't wanna like cut it up. <laughs> I'm still reading. Stay away from Poppy's home. Captain Rattel. Rattel. Okay, no, never mind. It's not Nizumi. There, they must be related. There must be like a. A rat race or something like that because they look alike that maybe that Rattel is probably like half fishman I can't believe like Weevil actually came like how is that even possible I mean he was looking for for the rest of like the white beard pirates but like I'm trying to think of like the timeline of it all. Was this no Marco was still in Wano. So while Wano was going on, he came here, but then I would think this is after like the abolishment of the the warlords. Hmm. It's Edward! <laughs> I can't believe I'm cheering on for Weevil. <laughs> we Weevil. <laughs> Weevil. They're all scared of him. I mean, he's pretty strong. But yeah, he's most likely a clone as well. Warships were meant to hunt down the warlords. Now they're disbanded. Okay. They were already disbanded at this time. We've lost all contact with the other squad. He got them all. <laughs> what strength? He's a bonafide monster. Why does he look cooler? <laughs> I think he he kind of changed a little bit. Get back to the ship. We need to wait for backup. This is Spinks. An ex-warlord just showed up. It's Weevil. Requesting immediate assistance. I don't think anybody would come and get him. <laughs> Too scared. I mean, they got out of that um, scuffle. Like, the first time the Warlord organization was abolished, he was fighting Marines as well. Like, they were trying to capture him. But, um, he got out. Hmm. If that big guy hadn't shown up, the village would be toast. <laughs> what a hero. I'm glad you're all safe, Yui. That wasn't the end of it, Marco. Who do you think they sent in after that call for backup? Did they send an admiral? Well, there, there's Miss Bach in here. Like, that's her her shadow silhouette. Oh! None other than Admiral Ryokugyu. And he wasn't pulling any punches. They've taken my sweet weevil away. <gasps> oh, no! Dang! I don't know. My view of Ryokugyu has been so low. Since he was shown in Wano, he was such a wimp. Oh my gosh. I know he's strong, but like, Shanks just sent a little bit of his like conquerors hockey and he's like, ah, no, no, no. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't have a really good perspective of him. It's like, I just think he's weak and I don't like him. <laughs> But I guess he is really strong. I've taken my sweet weevil away. Get me my beloved son back. And while you're at it, fork over Newgate's inheritance too. <laughs> Former member of the Rocks Pirates. Self-proclaimed scientist. Okay, that is her. That is her! 
Mads resident freeloader, <laughs> Miss Buckin. Buckingham Stussy. Okay. Self-proclaimed scientist. So she probably um created Weevil as well. That's why she's saying that's my son. Because she created him in like artificial ways. Maybe she took some of um Whitebeard's DNA <laughs> and put it into Weevil. <laughs> I don't even know if she actually is, because it says here self proclaimed scientist and like resident freeloader. Like maybe she just sees herself as a scientist because she hangs out with them. But she actually doesn't know what she is doing. Dang! Like how did Stasi become this? Like I mean, that's always been Oda's way of drawing females. And men actually. When they get old well, maybe not, because Garp looks really good. We will Mama <laughs> That's kinda cute. <laughs> Sent to prison for protecting his father's village. Isn't this tragic? Don't you think our boy has a noble soul? Well, I appreciate you guys protecting this place at least, Yoi. Marco, I can hear it in your tone. You still doubt he's white beards. We all do. <laughs> well, I know someone who can prove it. Dr. Vegapunk. Break next week. No. Is there more? Oh, there is more! <laughs> Wait, good thing I checked. Dr. Vegapunk. I mean, he can probably just prove that you created Weevil somehow using, like, Whitebeard's DNA or he he's a clone. Because, like, why, why would Vegapunk confirm it? Unless he... He, he was the doctor who attended to you giving birth. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my goodness. But it's nice that they they confirmed it like right away. Like last last chapter we had that um that revealed that Stussy is a clone and then people theorized that oh maybe Stussy was a clone of Miss Bakken and yeah, they confirmed it here. Fast. He's <laughs> Kizaru san! We've prepared snacks and tea for our guest. Who is this guest? I'm sure you remembered to test for poison, right? Of course, sir. I'll take it to him back to your post. Yes, sir. Who is it? Guest. Kizaru has a guest. Smoker? Why would Smoker be here? I don't want to think. I'm just going to read. So, have you ever met Dr. Vegapunk? Hmm? <gasps> He's one of the Elder Stars. So Kizaru is on his way there and this one of the Elder Stars that's one of them, right? Wait, let me finish. Once a long time ago. I think what's happening now is truly such a shame. The highest authority in the world, one of the five leaders, Saint J. Garcia sat turn. J. Garcia. <laughs> I did not expect that name, but okay. They're coming. They're coming for us. One of the big wigs finally makes a move. What is he doing here? So Kizaru is going there. So he's headed to Egghead. So he's there to meet Vegapunk. Once a long time ago, I think. Once a long time ago. I think what's happening now is tru truly such a shame. Because then, 
you know, how we have everything in our control at Egghead because right now we are the highest authority like over the seraphims and so it, it was all good but then when this guy comes he'd be the highest authority there because the five elders are higher than Vegapunk in the hierarchy of control over the seraphims and if the seraphims are on our side and that's that's too hard for us. Saint J. Garcia Saturn. Hmm. Now the question is, are they? Wait. So. So his name is actually Saturn, not J, right? That's just so weird, though, to have two names like for last name or Saturn is just a, a title mm, chapter notes in addition to referencing the planet god Saturn's name might refer to two unrelated musicians Jerry Garcia his name is very similar and he bears a visual re resemblance to the character okay there's also Russell Garcia who wrote a song called the lost souls of Saturn Rattel is named after the honey badger. Oh. Dang, he does look like him. That's why his name is Jay Garcia. <laughs> I was like, that's so random. Jay Garcia, and then he's Saturn. So now, we can probably guess the names of the other ones if we use, like, the Jupiter, Uranus, and... All that and then look for songs. <laughs> and then the artists, the artists who sang the songs, if they look, if they resemble like the, the five elders, maybe that's going to be like the name. <laughs> that's so insane, though. Oh, my gosh. Everyone's moving. Oda's not kidding when he said like everyone would be there and like it's just going to be like a one... <laughs> It is the final saga. Like, I started feeling it when we went to Egghead, when everything's, like, getting answered, and then we're getting more questions, and it's kind of, like, relating. And see, like, in the span of, like, how many ever chapters? 10, 15 chapters, we've gotten Shanks, okay? We've gotten Garp. Garp was here. Um, Sabo. Dragon. Vegapunk. Everyone, basically. Now we have Luchikaku, Stasi, Weevil. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> now we have this guy. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine that? After 1073 chapters, we finally get the name of this guy. <laughs> That's insane. Ah! What's going to happen now? You know, we might not even make it to Elbaf with Vegapunk. Because this guy's coming. But, like, Vegapunk's not even there. I think they went into, like, the, the Paul memory. I want to see that flashback, though. It's going to give us so much more background for Kuma, Bonnie, and even Vegapunk. Because right now, I'm so iffy about him. I think he's bad <laughs> I think uh, I don't know but then if he's bad in relation would dragon be bad because they sh they probably have like the same ideology idea ideolo I can't I can't speak um to have the same perspective of the world, I would think. Maybe just a little bit of a difference. That's why Vegapunk did not join him. But. I don't know. And then there's a break. I don't want a break. <laughs> hmm. That's insane. Oh my gosh. St. J. Garcia Saturn. I wonder if the other ones are going to be names of planets as well like with all this like celestial stuff going on there's no way Enel's not coming back 
they really have to animate the the Eno cover story because like it's it's gonna connect somehow. There's no way that Eno's not coming back this this arc. <sighs> I thought Egghead would just be like a short stop for us, and then we're heading to El Baf, but now it's looking like it's gonna we're gonna be there longer. Oh my god. It's so much. Ah, I wanna know more. It's just so hard to read weekly, man. No matter how long you do it, it's just never get used to it. It's so hard. But yeah. That was chapter 1073 of One Piece. Let me know what you thought of this chapter down below. Theories, give them to me. Let them let me know about them. <laughs> um i'll see you guys in two weeks i guess i'll see you in like the anime episode reactions but we're on a break see you until then you guys have a good day bye bye